10, uh, 8 to 12 inches apart, you know, but uh, I usually do about 8 because that's plenty. Um, and if, if you need more, you just pick the, you know, once they start growing, you just pick them out anyways, you know. So, uh, anyways, I put two in there because I figure one of them, you know, they, one of them might get a little more water and it might die. Or you might get a couple cranes that come into your pond and then the crows follow those birds. They're not cranes, they're called um, herons. But people around here call them other names. Which aren't so nice. But uh, they're a good bird. But then you gotta figure your crows are gonna come down here too. And they're gonna eat this up. They're gonna eat at least one of them. And then you gotta figure one of at least every other one, you gotta figure you might get a little more rain one time and that one might die. One of the seeds might die. So you gotta figure that. So I usually put two. We used to put three, but then we used to get clumps of three, clumps of you know of two of them growing right next to each other. So I just put two now. So I know at least one of them is gonna grow. So then I get a nice straight row. It's beautiful and it's going. And back in the old days, they used to put tar on top to stop the crows. Well, nowadays I've gotten smarter. I put my fertilizer on top so the rain brings it down to the seed, obviously. But then also so that they'll get. The, the birds come down and get a mouthful of that of fertilizer, and they're like, ugh, tastes nasty. So they're not going to bother digging any further. Because they know everything down there's going to be crap. It's not going to taste good. Obviously, it does. It tastes good, though. But they're not going to do all that work to get through that, anyways. Because they burn more calories than anything to do it. So at least we're making them earn their, earn their food. And then the, also from that window, there's always, always bird shot, too. Alright, well, I'm out of the